Good morning from Florence, Italy. So today is a brand new day. We woke up, we had some breakfast, we had some coffee, and now we are currently packing up all our stuff because we are heading back into the car and going on another road trip to a new location. So Florence was absolutely amazing. I have one last place that I wanna see. It's going to be the Piazza Michelangelo, I think it's called, and it's like a viewpoint where you can see the city of Florence. Like, if you Google images Florence, all the photos you see, I'm pretty sure are taken from that park. So we're gonna go and have a look at that today, and then we're gonna head off. Um, even though it's early August and it is ridiculously hot, I am like have my fingers like double crossed, hoping that we come across some sunflower fields today because. That is one of the main things that I would love to see in Italy and we are in Tuscany right now so hopefully that will happen but I'm not sure. We drove past a lot of dead sunflower fields yesterday actually and I was just like oh, I hope there's gonna be some alive ones but yeah we shall see. <laughs> Alright gonna head off. Wow, my white balance and exposure is on point. Okay, we made it to the Piazza de Michelangelo and some lovely strangers. Okay, first of all, we got super lucky finding a car spot. We like drove into the car park and someone was leaving right in front of us. So we were like, yes. And then we parked and we were like, we sat in the car for like five minutes in the air conditioning. And then as we got out, this lady comes up to us and she's like, oh, how long do you plan on being here? And we're like, oh, maybe like an hour. And she's like, oh, because I have a ticket, like a parking ticket until two. She's like, do you want it? And we're like, yes. Strike two. <laughs> it's turning out to be a good day. But yeah, I'll show you the views in <laughs> so a second. What's going to go wrong? No, nothing's going to okay. go wrong. <laughs> so I realized this morning when I woke up that last yeah, night, it's not. Really. It's not? We, I think we could have got there. I realized this morning that last night I washed myself in the shower with body lotion <laughs> instead of body wash. I was tweeting about it. Too much heat and not enough sleep makes me something something. Which is very true. So yeah, I feel really gross today. <laughs> Which one? Roma? Uh, yeah, to the right. We just left Florence. It is 1 p.m. right now. And we've got another long drive ahead of us to our next destination. What? Burger King? <laughs> petrol station. Petrol. We still haven't filled up petrol. We didn't really want to do the self-service thing. Just in case we paid and then it didn't work or something. I mean, I'm sure it wouldn't happen, but just in case. Um, yeah. The, the Michelangelo lookout thing really reminded me of the Griffith Observatory in LA, but like an ancient version. <laughs> I don't know, it looked really, really cool. I loved it. It was a nice view of Florence. I'm sure, oh, that would really be amazing in the afternoon here at sunset. Oh, should we stop? We have the auto grill coming up. It's actually, the auto grills are really cool because they built the restaurant as a bridge over the highway. So I'm assuming, we haven't eaten there before, but I'm assuming that you can sit down and overlook the highway as you eat. <laughs> All right, petrol time. 
I'm not that excited about petrol. Come on. <laughs> Oh my god. I thought all those cars were lining up for petrol, but they're just parked. Diesel, yeah, diesel, diesel. Petrol was like 1 euro 80 there, so we're like, uh uh, not filling up. Like, we've seen it normally like 145 ish is okay right now. But yeah, that was way too much, so we're just gonna keep driving and hope for the best. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have 3 hours and 20 minutes to go on this trip. And I just wanted to say, so because it's the middle of summer in Italy, it's like the high summer season right now and even everyone online was telling me that they've been having crazy heat waves here. Um, I've been basically drinking like so much water while we're here. And I basically drink about two of these a day and they are two liters. Well, that's a lot of water. Um, but yeah, I drink like two of these a day. And I just wanted to mention, I don't know, I do this all the time while I'm traveling just because I've noticed it's a lot cheaper and like cost efficient, but it's better to buy your water from supermarkets rather than, for example, in Italy, like the ice cream stores and kiosks and stuff that have little bottles of water because you get a like a tiny bottle that I would drink in like one second and you pay like two euros, two euros fifty for it compared to a massive bottle like this where you'd only pay a euro or even less like we paid 50 cents for some of them <clears throat> so yeah hot tip from Jules <laughs> drink your water I barely have a shot. it's 46 degrees oh my god just in case you thought we were exaggerating <laughs> update into where we are right now we were driving and driving and driving we passed room there's lots of traffic and eventually we got to this little town it looked like an industrial kind of workers town and we continued driving we were feeling kind of tired we weren't really talking much and out of nowhere the ocean appeared in our views with this amazing mountain lit up by the setting sun and we just got so excited and we just had these massive smiles on our faces and we were so eager to head down to the beach because we miss the ocean a lot. It's one of the main things that I miss when traveling away from Australia because we have beautiful beaches. But basically we made it to this beautiful beach town where you cannot see a single tourist. It is literally just as local as it gets here. And we are now sitting on the beach watching the sunset. We have a beautiful mountain next to us and life is good. <laughs> we're feeling back to normal now that we're at the beach. It's nice. Yeah, I'm really excited because the sun is about to set over the ocean and that's something that I've only seen maybe a couple of times in my life. So it's something that I really love to experience. It is now sunrise and we made it. We are in Positano. 